British English versus American English vocabulary words from EspressoEnglish.net. This is a story about the daily lives of New York Nate, who lives in the United States, and London Laura, who lives in England. They have very similar lives, but the vocabulary words they use are very different. New York Nate lives in an apartment. And London Laura lives in a flat. Every morning, when getting dressed, New York Nate puts on a pair of pants, and London Laura puts on a pair of trousers. Both New York Nate and London Laura have kids, but New York Nate needs to change the baby's diaper, and London Laura changes the baby's nappy. When it's time to go to work, New York Nate takes the subway, and London Laura takes the underground, which is also called the tube. After getting off at the right stop, New York Nate walks along the sidewalk, and London Laura walks along the pavement to reach their offices. New York Nate works on the first floor of the building. And London Laura works on the ground floor. That means they don't need to take the elevator in the case of New York Nate, or the lift in the case of London Laura. At work, both Nate and Laura need to send some important documents to a client, but New York Nate sends them by mail, and London Laura sends them by post. During the day, New York Nate snacks on cookies, fries, and chips. London Laura eats the same things, but she calls them biscuits, chips, and crisps. Not a very healthy diet, is it? Both Nate and Laura get stomach aches, so New York Nate goes to the pharmacy or drugstore, and London Laura goes to the chemist's shop to pick up some medicine. After work, Nate and Laura go shopping. They drive to the mall, and New York Nate puts his car in the parking lot, while London Laura puts hers in the car park. Both of them buy a lot of stuff, so New York Nate puts the bags in the trunk, and London Laura puts them in the boot. On the way home. New York Nate fills up his car with gas, and London Laura fills up her car with petrol. At the station, New York Nate sees a truck, and London Laura sees a lorry. They both get home late, and New York Nate needs to take out the garbage or trash. London Laura also needs to take out the rubbish. It's dark outside, so New York Nate takes a flashlight, and London Laura uses a torch. It's been a long, stressful day, and New York Nate thinks he might go crazy. London Laura is afraid she'll go mad. It's time for a vacation for New York Nate, and a holiday for London Laura. Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.